Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, this is Imam Tahir Anwar reaching out to you. I hope and pray all of you are doing well, inshallah. You know, we have a saying in the West, we say, dress to impress. Um, it reminds me, there's a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he says, Inna Allah jameelun wa yuhibbul jamal. Allah is beautiful and he loves beauty. Uh, there's a story that's narrated in the, in the hadith traditions that once there were certain companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who were traveling. And the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, specifically instructed them and said, you know, fix your saddles. Um, and he said, be distinct. That when someone sees you, they, they, you know, they're in awe. They recognize you. They, they, they you're, you're, you're impressive. And uh, there's a verse in the Quran also. Allah says, "Walkhayla walbiqala walhamira li tarkabuha wazina." Allah Subhanahu wa Taala talks about the donkey, the horse, and He says that you ride it, and it's also for your beauty. The point I'm trying to make is that um, beauty, physical beauty, is a very, very important part of our tradition, and part of that, as the scholars of Islam have reminded us, is to dress well to dress to impress, but also dress modestly, right? Um, modestly means that we dress in a way, like, you know, what, is, what does modesty mean in Islam? Modesty means that we dress in a way where the curves of our body, for both men and women, are not shown, are not visible. And so to dress loosely, but dressing loosely and dressing simply, as sometimes people understand it, doesn't mean to dress dirty or to dress down. Dress well. And so I just want to take a moment to remind myself and everyone else that as Muslims, we're required to dress modestly, being mindful of what we wear, um, especially in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, there's a dress code for everywhere that we go. There's a certain type of clothes you wear at a wedding, certain type of clothes that you may wear at work, certain type of clothes that you wear in a certain place. Well, we're coming to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we dress modestly, but then we go above and beyond when we come to the house of God, house of Allah. And also as Muslims, dress well, dress nicely, dress up, look nice, smell nice, be nice. So that's really all I wanted to say to everyone um, that, you know, dressing well and dressing modestly is a very important part of our tradition and we should be mindful of it at all times, but especially when we come to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May you all be well. Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.